So, it's looking like Canelo Alvarez has found his next potential opponent. And guess what? It's not who we all expected it to be. Welcome to the Pugilist Critic, where we talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly in the sport of boxing. So, according to sources, i um, got the source links in the description. There's various sources out there. Um, Canelo Alvarez is in serious talks to go on to Japan and face Ryota Murata, the WBA regular middleweight champion. You know, Murata is a 2012 Olympic gold medalist. He is 16, 2, and 13. And, yeah, it looks like he may be getting the Canelo shot. Out of all the fighters that's available, out of all the guys that Canelo could have fought, Rio Murata is getting the shot. Now, for what it's worth, Rio Murata is a pretty decent fighter, but it's not necessarily um, something us fans really want to see. Maybe Canelo fans are okay with him fighting whoever, but us, us, us hardcore boxing fans, we want to see Canelo Alvarez in a real fight, and this is really a step down from Kovalev and Danny Jacobs. You know, this is a step down, two steps down probably. And, you know, the thing is with Japan... I think there's no drug testing out there. As far as I remember, back when I used to watch Pride and all that, it was known, it was well known, widely known that there was no drug testing out there in Japan. So a lot of them dudes were jacked. Them dudes was out there just doing whatever. And it was, you know, they put up some good fights, but yeah, there was no drug testing. And it's strange, you know, when Rio de Murata fought Rob Brandt, um, when he first fought him in here in America, you know, he didn't look too good. And then a rematch happened in Japan. Rob Brandt went over there to Japan and got beat up pretty quick. He looked spectacular. Then his last fight against Stephen Butler, he looked good as well. So ooh, you got to kind of think about that. Like a lot, a lot of times, a lot of these guys, these Asian fighters, when they fight over there in Asia, they look real, real fucking good. Actually, a lot of foreign fighters, when they fight in a way, they don't look too good. But when they go home, you know, when the, when the testing isn't as strict as it is here in America, them dudes look spectacular, you know. But this ain't nothing necessarily that we want to see. This ain't nothing we want to hear about. Ryota Murata, I mean, no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they they talking about having Canelo go out there for single de Mayo weekend. I mean, dude, the fight is going to be like on a, what, Thursday or some shit if it's in Japan. Like, it's going to be a day earlier than it would be here in America or, you know, in, in North America, this side of the world. So, I mean, I don't know what they really, it's just a really a safe fight for Canelo to take. Um, Ryota Murata really... <laughs> Now, out there, if it is in Japan, he may have a chance to win a decision because Japan, they're going to make sure they got, you know, gets a fair shake. You know, he's an Olympic um, Olympian out there. So, you know, the Japan, you know, they, you know, they take care of their fighters. So I, I would expect them to really make sure that, you know, if, if it goes decision, I, I'm not, I don't know. You know, who knows? You know, Canelo Alvarez has so much juice in the boxing world. He's the money man. And, you know, at the end of the day, they ain't, nobody trying to fuck up the money. You know, he's the only guy that's really generating that big money for these guys to get them paydays. And fortunately for Rio Murata, a guy that's been kind of under the radar, a guy who hasn't really been vocal on facing a opponent of that nature, a regular champion, he's the guy that's getting picked. Out of Saunders, out of Andrade, out of Charlo, out of, you know, Triple G, out of all these. Now, he still may fight Triple G, but out of all these guys, you know, he get, he picks Rio Murata. You know, they in serious talks, you know. And the good thing about this is Rio Murata gets the opportunity. You know, he gets a chance to potentially dethrone Canelo Alvarez. Now, will he actually go out there and do it? That's a whole other thing entirely. It seems like Canelo Alvarez been really uh, picking certain fighters who it just seems like a lot of his fights been looking like sparring matches lately, you know, and Ah, you know, these guys, are, you know, a lot of his like Jacobs and Kovalev, they was just happy to be there. They was happy to get the payday. They didn't really care if they won or not. I'm not sure Murata's going to have that same type of attitude. You know, the Japanese tend to have that warrior spirit and his country is going to be riding behind him a thousand percent if the fight is out there in Japan. But I mean, do Murata deserve to fight? I don't know. The bad thing about this is, you know, this is just this is what us boxing fans get. You know, we don't really get the best fights. You know, we got to sit here and complain and argue amongst each other and argue with fan bases when these big fights not made. You know, Canelo Alvarez should be really giving us a big fight every once in a while. You know, a, a intriguing matchup, a matchup where we don't know if he's going to really pull it off or not. You know, we know he's going to win this fight. It's just another one of those things. And the ugly thing is, this is just it's just a smack in the face to us boxing fans. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? You know what I'm saying? I would have rather seen Saunders, you know, but what it is, what it is, man. Tell me what you guys think, man. Murata looking like he may be next with Canelo Alvarez. Like, subscribe. Hide your boy. Peace out.